snow, here we are. Monday morning, early doors. I think I got here about five, maybe just before. Woke up at the ungodly hour of 2.45 a.m. and thought, I might as well go fishing. Left the house about three. And I thought rather than spend the morning chugging about in the boat looking for them. It's obviously a good, good classic bite time in it, first thing in the morning. I'll just drop in a swim, a sort of half no. See a couple of fish here last week. I just angle for a few hours. Got all day at look about. Looks like it's been quite a nice day. There's a bit of blue sky up there. Still northeasterly winds as it's been for months. But here's the rub. I've got three nights and on my last night, or well, the last afternoon before the last night, we're going to have a southwesterly. First one forever. Apparently, according to the weatherman, the gusts early hours of Thursday morning are going to get up to 30 mile an hour, which is very significant on a lake this size. But I'm all in a quandary. I'm sort of ready to move into the swim I want to be in and threaten in case someone else does. But in reality, that's 60 hours away. So I don't want to just sit somewhere waiting for the weather, which, you know, might not even turn up. I'm not always that accurate. But I'm trying my best to fish as if I didn't know it was coming. And hopefully, probably get somewhere that's going to receive the wind tomorrow so I'll do Tuesday it's coming Wednesday afternoon if I can get set up Tuesday night somewhere get baited up and rigs out and that and hope I hope that it's as good as I think it's going to be because literally after a couple of months of north base winds they're north westerlies, north northeasterlies, the odd easterly I've had nothing from the south. But like I say, that's a few days away yet. Or two days away. For now, we're waiting for one of them to rattle off. Well, here we go, look. The mat is out. I mean one thing. Um, Fish is still on the edge, by the way. Now, if I stitch this straight on the end of the last clip, it would look like a proper success story, wouldn't it? Get up at quarter three in the morning, drive to the lake, pre chosen swim, put your rods out, catch one. Job done. Simple. Didn't quite happen like that. Got up at quarter three, drove to the lake, went in the pre chosen swim. I just wanted to fish here for a few hours. I'm fed up like wasting the morning driving around the lake in a boat um, when it's a good bite time. So I fished from 5 o'clock a.m. till 10 o'clock. And then decided I'd lost all confidence in my plan. So I packed everything away. Not really set much up, just chair, tea making kit, rods. Wound them all in, everything back in the boat. From 10 o'clock, went off on the trial. Um, I found a couple of fish in the weed at the far end. Um, and I got out on the bank and wander about, climbed a tree and I see some fish over the other side on this shallow bar but they're only small ones um, so I was in two mine it's really weedy there um, and I was watching these little ones go around and I weren't too sure so in the end I unloaded the boat dragged it up over the causeway put it in the other half of the lake just had a paddle paddled out there, got right up wind and thought I'd just drift down just to check what's in the weed there. Sure enough, there was three or four double, high doubles, low twenties. Uh, and then just in front of me, one come past the pool, that's a proper one, 30 plus. Um, one of the you know, sort of original fish. Um, 
that'll do, I'll fish here. Um, as I turned the boat round, I gave the fish loads of room to spook it. The fish turned as well, came round under the boat, saw me, went over the bar, and then I weren't sure, I thought, have I spooked him, haven't I spooked him? Anyway, I've got two rods up, set up, plopped them out there. Lasted about half an hour, I suppose. I weren't too sure. Didn't want to go back out the boat. Um, didn't really know what to do. And half a year out the boat, half a year in the boat. Of course, I did. Before I set up, I'm going to go back to where I was, get out on the island, climb through the snakes, and have a look at the snakes. So I've done exactly that. Climbed through, had a look, and four fish came straight under me, underneath my feet, probably a rod length from where I had been fishing a few hours before, before I went in. So, back, got the gear, boated it all down, put the rigs out, five minutes later I had a bite. So in reality, I could have just sat here, drinking tea, could have had a kip. Anyway, I caught a carp. Uh, it wasn't one of the four I saw, fishing the nimbo was out there, it was common, quite spawned out, I'd say, I don't know, 20 plus anyway. But as a result, middle of the day, in the heat, I had a fish. And that was the story. A lot of words, but the result is a fish. Let's get him out. Well, as predicted, he is indeed 20 pounds. A bit lively for some reason. Take. There we go. A long winded result, but a result all the same. 20 pound common to start with. Hopefully, a few more to follow. Oh, nice. Nightmare is swimming, everything's on a slope. It's my mob bag to try and level with the mat up. What have you? Okay, in the pond for you. All going? Yeah, mate. Yeah, it looks lovely with the old sunshine. Baddy, out the way. <laughs> That was a bite and a half, wasn't it? That was the bite from hell, really, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we were just sat there having a little glass of red wine. I had about three beeps and the reel smashed into the alarm. Oh, there you go. All right, all right, all right. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <sighs> whoa. Yeah, the reel just smashed into the alarm as the rod was wrenched off the rests. And uh, we're in. Can't see a thing. No. Who is it, Pat? Who is it? Well, 
know what happens now. He turns around and goes back the other way. Yeah. Beautiful. You got it. Well done, that man. That's quite a nice one, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did it a couple of times, I didn't want to say. Yeah, I know. I sort of went quiet when it like, dashed off from the net. <laughs> First time. Round. Yeah, that's quite a nice one. Yeah. Yeah, that's quite a nice one. Yeah. Quite a nice one. Yeah. 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 Yeah
feral dog. Tell you what, it's getting scorching here. Put the old man, the toes in front of the pool shot. Holiday special. It's absolutely cooking. The sun's just, you won't see anything now, but it might just come out from behind that tree. So I've got a few hours of it now. I swear it's tight. And it's just dug into the bank. There's nothing of it. There's hardly even room for a bivvy, I don't think I'll bother. I'll drag her to bed, which is that, down there tonight. I'll just sleep out here next to the rods. Love it. Proper wilderness. Want me to get a rod? I don't. You right? No, no. No, I'm saying. Go on. Go on. Go on. Oh yeah. <laughs> no Look at that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> he's a front roll, isn't he? Yeah. Not deep as I thought he'd be. Nah, he's breadth, but obviously. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's a proper character, he's lovely, isn't he? Mega. Oh, he's not as big as I thought. But yeah, actually, but... Oh, Twenty-six and a half. Nice. Yeah. It's irrelevant from here, oh, though, isn't it? Really so irrelevant. Loves <laughs> <ball>. <laughs> <laughs> it's your favourite toy, isn't it? Right. Yes, sir. Who is it? Get off! <laughs> Where are you going from? Where you are now? Yeah, I think so, mate. I might even be able to get on the bed. Off. Do you want to do a bit of video oh. first and then... Yeah. And then we'll do some shots. Come, Ed. Off. 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 <laughs> All old and pale and ancient. This little tail. He is cool. Mad off. Good girl. Very cool. His peck's just up a little bit there, Dave. Hey? Just there we go. Just tuck his peck in. There right, we go. Good. Uh, let's drop it. Right. Let's... There we go. Oh man, he's cold. Maddie, off, go on, off. Very cold. Off. Good girl. He's wicked. Right, let's do some shots.
<laughs> nice. <clears throat> now that is what you call a bite. I just had a common, 20, only 21 pounds on that middle rod. Look at the state of that. I know how well you can see that. Hold on a sec. Get this screen where I can see it. This bit here, here, is bent at about 45 degrees. One of the snag ears has snapped clean off. I sat right next to the rod, reading the book. I had one beep and it just launched and the reel smashed into the alarm, bent the bank stick, snapped the storm mirror off. <laughs> How crazy. Anyway, I've caught one. So here we go with the Bionic 21 pound common. Tackle wrecker. It went mental <laughs> when I hooked it. It kited around a bush to my left and it just charged off across the central channel. Like to get in the boat, I landed it miles away. 21 pounds. One of them fish that if you'd lost it and thought it was a monster. It's just crazy. Still crazy. Flexed up and angry. Session of three fish of it. Unheard of. Perfect. Nick in his tail. I call him Nick. Hello, Nick. Right, let's pop you back in the pond. So here we are. Somewhere different. Obviously. And apparently today's the day. The day that the southwesterly, the first for months, actually turns up. Forecast is for light southwesterlies which come into this corner. Obviously that's why I'm here. Um, throughout the day picking up quite nicely by the evening and howling through in the night until about ten in the morning when it stops. And that's about what time I'm going home, so. Last roll of the dice. It's going to look nice in here later on this evening. If it does what they say it's going to do. Well, I found my spots very weedy out here. Found my spots, marked them up. Baited them up ready. Just a bit of a waiting game now. Not very good at waiting. So, but even considering taking a rod back up to where I caught it from yesterday. Just sitting there with one rod. The bites I brought on one rod, so might pass a few hours till, till the weather arrives. But as soon as I see anything up here, I'm going to be proper keen. All of that happens after breakfast, which happens now. So I'll see you in a bit. It's starting to look better and better out there. Wind's coming in lovely now. Through that gap between those 
these two islands out. Where are we? Out there. Sweeping right through into this bay. Looking ripper. You know I could speak Australian, did you? Oh, we've got a beep. Actually, quite a few beeps on that middle road to be honest. It's um, I can't get a direct line, there's a weed bit just this side of the spot, and I've had to put the line round it with the boat, so there's a bit of giving it. And I think as the weed moves up and back in the wind, it's just pushing the line over. I have to scrap the bobbin at bedtime. And that all looking good. Surprised it's not showing. First southwesterly for about 200 years. Um, you think they'll be poking their heads out on it, but they're not. As long as they feed, that's all I care about. Talking of which, I think it's probably barbecue time. I've discovered a local butcher, right, just literally. It's a little tiny hut. Um, does, it's not really open to the public as such. He does trade stuff. He's there from about 7 in the morning till about 10 doing up all his orders. And if you go and knock on the side door, he lets you in. Oh, it's fantastic, isn't it? Got the best steaks. That is going to drive me mad. Yeah, I've got some lovely steaks. I had one last night. I've got another one tonight. I'm going to have to sort that out. in a bit. Well, then it just go to show, really. The best laid plans and all that. Nothing showed up in this bay on this brand new, beautiful southwesterly, which was my main plan for the session. And all I've caught, which is great. Um, I'm just, I'm gobsmacked that this. <laughs> I haven't seen anything. I've seen one tench. It's been blowing in like this all night. Stronger than this. It looks absolutely prime and we make mats down on the other half of the lake where the the other well where the wind also blows into a bay like this or a corner like this so all points are covered and neither of us have seen a thing these carp obviously just done whatever they wanted to do probably stayed where they were wherever that was Bizarre creatures. Obviously haven't read enough magazines. Anyway, it's that time. I'm gonna wrap it all up, chuck it in the boat, and do one. At least a smell of carp slime on the way home this time. Not begins but well appreciated. That old one, that 26 common, that was lovely. Right, tad up for now.